students in the previous section we have studied what is the discharge through orifice meter also we have studied what is venturi meter we are going to solve few problems related to orifice meter as well as considering the coefficient of discharge as well as theoretical discharge <music> So we have over here a orifice meter having a diameter of 10 cm is inserted in a pipe of 20 cm diameter. The pressure fitted in the upstream, the gauge pressure fitted in the upstream and the downstream of the orifice meter give the readings of 19.62 and 9.81. So we have the upstream pressure and the downstream pressure respectively. We have to calculate what is the discharge through the pipe if the coefficient of discharge is 0.6. So over here, let us write down the data what we have. So what is given over here, that is the pressure P1 at the inlet, that is 19.62 Newton per centimeter square. Pressure P2 at the outlet is 9.81 Newton per centimeter square. The coefficient of discharge is 0 0.6 and the inlet diameter or the pipe diameter is given as uh, D1 is equals to 20 centimeters and diameter D2 uh, or orifice diameter is 10 centimeters. We have to find what is Q over here. So let us write down formula for Q. Now we know that Q equals to coefficient of discharge into A0 into A1 square root of 2GH upon square root of A1 square minus A0 square. So over here we need to calculate what is first A0, A1 as well as value of h. So let us calculate value of a0 that is pi by 4 into d0 square is equals to pi by 4 into 10 centimeter square. So this will be equals to 78.54 centimeter square. Similarly, area A1 is pi by 4 into D1 square that is pi by 4 into 20 square is equals to 314.16 centimeter square. So, these are the two areas A1 and A2. Now, over here the value of H is equals to P1 minus P2 upon rho G plus Z1 minus Z2. Since the orifice meter, they have not specified it is an horizontal specific uh, orifice meter, we'll assume that, we'll assume the pipe is horizontal. If the pipe is horizontal, Z1 will be equals to Z2. So, on substitution of this part, this two part will cancel away and we are left with over here h is equals to 19.62 minus of 9.81 into 9.81 into 1000 since this entire pressures are in newton per centimeter we'll just multiply by 10 raised to minus 4 so this will give us approximate value as a 10 meters or 1000 centimeters. So we have calculated what is the pressure energy head across the two sides of the orifice meter. Now let us substitute this in this formula and let us evaluate the answer. So over here Q is equals to that is a CD into A0 A1 a square root of 2GH upon square root of a1 square minus a0 square. So over here q is equals to cd this is 0 0.6 a0 has a value of 78.64 into a1 has a value of 314.16 into square root of 2g 
that is 9.81 into 1000 we'll keep this everything in centimeters for easier calculation into 314 314.16 the whole square minus 78.64 the whole square so on evaluation of this we'll get this part as equals to 68.21 liters per second it will be in meter uh, centimeter square uh, centimeter cube per second but that can be converted into liters per second so this has a power of 10 raised to 3 but we can reduce it to liters per second so i hope you have understood how we have calculated the discharge of uri phase meter by calculating that is the value of h that is the pressure energy head as well as the orifice area and pipe area. Thank you.